Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, I'll show you how to create a free website using Google Sites. So let's get started. Now Google Sites are basically meant to create simple websites like a website for your portfolio or an event or something or some project that you have and here we also have a template for photo portfolio so if you want to create a free website for some of these uh, simple tasks then uh, you can use google sites to create a website all right so first of all you have to go to this website called sites.google.com and you need to be logged into your gmail account for uh, creating a site on google sites so first of all we can see that we have this button over here which we can use to create a blank website and we also have some templates over here so let me just click on template gallery and we have all the templates that uh, we can use to create our website let me just open one of these and uh, let me show you how the template looks so this is the photo portfolio so if you want to create a website where uh, you want to showcase your photos then you can use this template and you can just replace these photos with your own photos so click over here and you'll find this option to replace the image just go ahead and click on upload and uh, you can upload your images over here and you also have these pages so work project page and about and if you scroll down we can see that it is a simple website and then we have this footer over here you can just go ahead and edit the footer so this is how this simple website looks let's go ahead and preview that by clicking on this button called preview and this is how this website will actually look when you publish it and google sites are basically responsive out of the box so here we have the option of checking it on different devices let's check it on tablet so this is how it will look on a tablet let's open phone and this is how it will look on a phone so by default we have a responsive nature for our website using uh, google sites so let's go ahead and create a new website and we'll just take a look at some of the important things that you can use in google sites so let me just click on blank or right, the first thing you need to do is you have to customize this header so let's go ahead and uh, first of all let's name the site so i'll just type live blogger and here we can see the name of our website has changed to live blogger we can add our logo over here by just clicking add logo and uh, uploading the logo over here and we can also add the favicon so this is the favicon you can change this to whatever you need and then let's go ahead and uh, change this uh, page title over here so i'll just type learn web dev and i'll just go ahead and select these and change it to bold and we'll just decrease the size a little bit maybe 30 pixels or maybe even 48 pixels now the next thing we can do is we can change this background image over here so we have to click on this uh, button called change image we have two options over here we can select an image that we have already uploaded or we already have in google account so let's click on select image and uh, here by default we have a gallery so let's select one of these and see how it looks these are some basic backgrounds let me just select this one and click on select and uh, we have this background applied to our website or you can just go ahead and upload your own image so if i click on upload and here i have downloaded some images from unsplash.com which is a website where you can download free images for your website so i just select one of these images from here and we can see that that image has been added as the background image for our header now you have different options for your header you can just go ahead and uh, click on header type and first of all you have this option of setting it as the cover so the whole front page will be the header and then we can scroll down for the other contents of our website and then we have large banner and uh, we have the regular banner and then we also have title only so if you don't want to have a background image you can use this i'll just set it back to banner 
All right, so now let's add a footer. So if you go down over here, we can see that we have this option called add footer. Let's click on that. And here we can type something and it will be added as a footer. So whenever we add a new page, this footer will already be available on that page. So let's type this website was designed by live blogger and uh, let's bring it to the center and then we can also change to different styles of footer so if i click on section background we can change these over here so we can see we have a different background color i'll just keep it to this one right here now let's go ahead and take a look at what are the other options that we have so here we can see we have text box image embed and drive now you can also access these same options by double clicking over here in your website and we have these options we can go ahead and upload images you can upload some other files or you can even upload some things from your drive directly to your website or you can even embed any web page or youtube videos or something over here and then we have the text so let's add some text over here and uh, let's change this to heading and uh, we'll type introduction and uh, we'll just change this to bold now let's add one more text so i'll just click on text over here and it will add this uh, text area right here let's add some lorem ipsum text over here so i just opened this website called lipsum.com and uh, i'll just copy some of this text from here and paste it over here all right this is how you add text now let's go ahead and embed something over here so let's click on embed and you can embed your files over here so then you can go ahead and check this out like images drive or embed so if i click on drive we can see that all the files from your drive will be displayed over here and i already have this pdf over here so let's click on that and uh, let's click on insert and we can see that the pdf has been inserted into our website let's make this bigger and let's also increase the height a little bit so this is basically how you add files from your drive into your website now in the same way you can also add images and embed youtube videos or any other files over here to your website now let's take a look at layouts so we can add things like this but using a layout will make the website look even better so we have different layouts over here we have the image on the left and a heading and some text over here on the right so let's use this one right here and here you can see we can add an image let's click on upload and let's add this image right here and let's edit this text technology one and let's add some text over here just delete some of this text we have different layouts over here so let's select this one right here and uh, we have three images and uh, heading and some text over here let's upload some images over here let's add some headings now we can add some text over here so let me just click on button and i'll just name this button learn more and then you can just add a link for this button i'll just type google.com over here and we can see we have added a button we can just drag and drop this over here and i'll just delete this so now we can see we have this button called learn more and you can add your own link to this learn more button so in the same way we can add multiple buttons I'll just add two more buttons and then we have different things that we can add over here in our website so let me just show you some of these the first one is collapsible text so here you can add some heading and let's add some text over here right now what happens is that uh, it has been collapsed by default and when we click on this arrow it will show the text and when we click out of that it will hide the text so this is how the collapsible text works and then we have table of contents we also have image carousel let's add image carousel over here 
so we can add images over here let's select these three images and click on open and then insert and we have this carousel over here let's bring it to the center and this is our image carousel let's click on preview and see how it looks so this is how our website looks right now and we have some text we have heading we have this embedded PDF over here and then we have added this layout over here so we also have these buttons and collapsible text over here and then we also have this uh, carousel so we can click on the next and the previous buttons now let's see how it looks on a mobile device so this is how it will look on a phone and uh, let's open how to look on a tablet so this is how it will look on a tablet so let's close this and then we have some more content over here so you can go ahead and uh, test this out and uh, see which one is required for you but now let's go ahead and take a look at another option which is called pages so let's go to pages and right now this is our home page and this is the only page we have right now now you can go ahead and create another page for your website so for that you have to hover over this plus icon and you have two options over here the first one is a new link so if I click on new link we can see we can add something over here so for example let's see for example uh, we'll just type forum over here and we can add a link of a website over here or you can even add links from your current website i just add google.com and uh, click on done and now here you can see we have the menu items home and forum now if i click on forum it will take me to the website that i had specified over here and then the other option is to add a new page so let's go ahead and uh, click on new page now let's name the new page about us and we have some advanced options over here to add your custom path of your about us page I just leave it as it is and I'll click on done and now we can see we have another menu item over here and we can go ahead and change how this menu item looks so let's go ahead and click on this settings button and uh, we have some options over here we can change this to the side so now we can see the menu will be displayed on the side over here and then you can go ahead and change the color to white so this is the white background or you can even change it to black or change it back to transparent now let's go ahead and take a look at another option which is called themes so this is our current theme and uh, in our theme we have these uh, three different uh, fonts and we have this style and this color you can select other themes from here so let's select this one and we can see it changes its look according to the theme let's go back to the home page let's check out another theme so this is another theme whenever you select a theme the fonts the color and all of these change as well let's select this one I think this looks better for our website now after designing your website you can go ahead and publish it now before that let me show you one more option that we have in Google sites so you have this option called share with others so you can go ahead and click on this uh, button and you can share this website with others so you can add the email ID over here and uh, send a request to others so in this way multiple people can uh, contribute to your website and uh, make changes or update your website all right so now let's go ahead and click on publish and uh, then we have the option of adding the web address so the web address will be sites.google.com forward slash view forward slash whatever we type over here so we have typed live blogger so this will be the URL of our website now if you already purchased a domain name for your website then you can go ahead and add it to your Google site over here by clicking on manage and adding your domain name over here and then we have this option called who can view my site so it is set to anyone so it will be public you can manage and set it to some specific people if you want I just set it to anyone and then we have the search settings and it is request public search engines to not display my site now if you check this option then your website won't be displayed on search engines 
and uh, now let's click on publish and our website has been published successfully so let's go ahead and click on this arrow and click on view published site so this is how our website looks right now and uh, we have this navigation menu on the left let's see how it looks on different screen sizes so let's right click and click on uh, inspect and uh, let's click on toggle device toolbar so let's select 100% from here alright let's open some devices let's click on Moto G4 so this is how it will look on a Moto G4 device or a mobile device let's go ahead and select iPad and uh, this is how it will look on an iPad so if you want to create a simple website for your project or your event or uh, as a portfolio you can use Google Sites to create that website for you so that's basically it for this video if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day